the Jews, the Jews under this floor, they do not speak English. But as for the English on colonization, they speak English. Welcome back, gamers. This is Let's Play Colonization. I am your host, your commentator, the guy that you really hate that you want to punch in the face. I'm SKS. So, last time we were sailing around looking for Dutch people. We found some, so let's see how close we can get to them and sink them. If not, you will laugh at me. I will feel sad, but then it will be okay. Alright, we're building roads still, and we are transporting... I do not want to attack. I didn't want to drive over a mountain. We are taking goods to different and various locations and building roads here so we can make spam actually grow a little bit. We need to get it at least boosted up and try to somehow... Oh, please don't sell for Europe. Isabella is obviously just a place where I'm not going to be able to stop goods from coming and going. It's too close to the edge of the rough water there and they can hit the high seas easily. So we'll have to come up with a different plan, maybe move that privateer farther south. A new cargo of horses is ready. Hopefully they won't spoil. Oh no! Alright, we are producing enough food. That's about all we're producing. They're building the newspaper. I think they're in good shape. Let's move on up here and watch more Indians getting my way. Urgh. I think I'm going to move this ship over here to try to capture vessels coming out of the other two cities or colonies of the French. And then I'm going to move this one down farther because we're just not catching anything out of Isabella. Um, I don't really have anything to trade with that village. So let's keep moving over here as we bother our Dutch. Hopefully they load up with lots of goodies. We'll actually attack them. And I was damaged. Crap! I didn't really want to do that, but I did it anyway, gamers. Because I'm an idiot. I was really wanting to cancel that order, but you can't. If I could have canceled it, I'd let them load up goods. But hopefully now I can still load up the they'll load up the goods and come out, and I can just attack them when they exit. Hopefully the repairs will be finished by then, and I'll be able to cut them off. It really just depends on where they were sent. Oh, the Indians love us down there near, near spam. Uh, they they think that we're idiots. All right, let's get an expert ore miner. Guy up. Guadalupe, which has not really grown any. So we'll kind of sit there and camp out as we continue to move south. I think I just. I don't even know. <laughs> Let's go to I Hate France so we can start picking up goods and selling them so we can get some more money. 771 gold is not enough. And where did this colonist come from? I guess we had enough food that he was just... Oh, no, these are off the ship. Okay. That would make sense if I wasn't such an idiot. The preacher obviously will work. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do, is take a colonist over here making food. Alright, let's click on the priest and put him at the church. And this one will make Liberty Bells. Hopefully get that over 50% again. It will cause them to produce more. Alright. And they can last a few turns with being a negative. Alright. I hate France. Where hopefully we can unload that ore and things will go better. Ah, oh, there goes that C. That's what I wanted to do, gamers, was let them load up. They come out and sink them, and I'm sure they got tons of silver on that, and I'm going to lose out, because why? I'm an idiot. 
It's things like that that just... That's prom not mistakes. Prom not mistakes. That's all you can say about that. Alright, let's check the village here. Speak with the chief. And he gives us... Oh, 64 gold. Thank you. Joy, joy, jerk. Alright, let's continue to head south here and... We'll cover this over here so we can tell what they're doing. No, I do not want to trade. They can wave. I'm just selling my ship because I'm on a boat. And my privateer went all the way down there. Well, they can make ore too, but I'll go ahead and give that to them. And my privateer still has about four turns, so we'll sadly not get to mess with them. Crap. Kind of frustrates me, but that's alright. We'll keep trading. Yes, this unit cannot attack. I know. I knew that when I... We'll just wait. Stupid Indians always get in the way. Just like they did in real life. Alright, the French are coming in there, so maybe I can swing around and catch something. The Dutch have got me mad again. And the privateer has completed his repairs. I doubt that I'll be able to get back up there. 80% and I hate France. I wonder if they get a plus 2 bonus when they get to 100. And the king's starting to get pissed off. He's adding more regulars. Alright, let's find something good for once. 300 gold. That'll work. Not exactly what I was looking for. But I'll take it. Alright, so we'll kind of camp out here and wait for something to happen. And we're going to come over here and wait and see what this uh, French ship does. Alright, my privateer, he's not going to make it, but I'd love for him to go right back up here and start killing stuff. I obviously need to build more uh, dry docks so I can fix stuff and that Indian's blocking me just to be an ass all right excellent so maybe we can get stuff done here at spam hmm he's actually going down to the south so we'll have to catch him with the other ship and see what he comes out with oh I really don't want to see that guy go off screen that's gonna hurt my feelings that's 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 missed booty right there missed booty Six cotton, yes, everlasting peace. You were asking for guns earlier. I saved you from the Dutch, but no, you want to be an ass about it. The Sioux, give me six tobacco, excellent. All right, let's keep, uh, I guess we found the coastline here. Let's kind of sit here and wait for that other ship to come down. And our merchant man will go ahead and try to load them up with goods like as we was doing before. Just pick up all the excess you can and take it with you. And it's just a game of clearing out crap that the Indians bring you. I guess that's supposed to be your steady income on the game since your colonists don't pay taxes. But it's a mechanic on the game. You just got to find it work for you somehow. I found a merchant man with four spots and four cities here on the coast. I can make that work. So... Let's actually have this guy work here, help produce something, and we will put the fishermen on the ocean. And as you can see, that evens everything up right there. So hopefully they can produce the stockade really fast. So Spam can catch up with the Joneses, so to speak. And we see where the other ship went. Oh, and finally Isabella. I wish I could really plunder them. The Dutch treasure fleet laden with 27... Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh, that upsets me. That's probably something I could have captured off one of those ships. That's exactly what that ship had on it, probably. And gamers, I let it go right... God, I'm an idiot. Make sure you post in your comments that I am an idiot because I let that go. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Hmm. Thanks, Sue. That doesn't keep me going after losing that much treasure. Ooh, look at me. I can sell 292 and 364. Yeah, alright. Woo! We're awesome. Give me that distiller. I'll make him a missionary. We'll send him back to the new world. Alright, we've made an armory. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's make a printing press here. And we should be in good shape at that place. find anything festive. Now, I'm not going to let this guy get away. I'm going to try to let him go into port, and maybe I can catch him. I should have two chances, hopefully, but you all know how my chances work. Since I just let a galleon go away with, uh, theoretically, they shouldn't have been able to take that, but for some reason, the game AI can cheat on stuff like that. They don't need a galleon. They can just build a regular boat and ship stuff back. I guess that's their bonus. I'm not sure why the French are going in there hiding with the penguins, but that's what they're doing. Like I said, gamers, the turns take longer and longer to go through. It's just like, oh my god, what are we going to do? All right, Sons of Liberty, 50%. Yay, all right. Give me that bonus, baby. Let's speak with the chief. Ore miners, even though they got a silver mine, you think they'd be good at that. And we can see we're hitting the top of the earth here, too. So, I'm still not understanding what they're trying to accomplish there. I'm going to be an idiot and go up here and wait by Isabella just to see if I can capture stuff again. It annoys me that they're getting in and out that easy. That's what she said. Alright, let's see what we can pick up here at Fort Boob. More furs, more cotton. We'll drop these coats off. And we'll continue on our way. Indians seem to be semi-calm. The blue and green colors is not bad. Alright, we'll come this way so we can start cutting the Dutch off again. And we will put a road here. Is there anything here at Fort Boob we can take north? I guess we'll take ore, because I know somebody up north needs it. And we'll see what we can develop. So it's like, what's fun about Let's Play SKS? Why do you do Let's Plays? Don't you get bored? And it's like, yes, I'm bored. That's why I do Let's Plays. Actually, I'm not, gamers. I do it for you. I do it because I enjoy it. I do it because it's either this or masturbation, and sometimes your hands just get tired. So, I talk. And yes, I'm not going to give you horses. You can get pissed. That's where that missionary is going to go next turn. So hopefully it will calm them down. I mean, fuck. Chill. I didn't give you horses. Sorry about your luck. Alright, so they got cargo there. They're building a printing press. I'm not going to mess with that. Alright. So let's move here. And they have guns out there, so they're probably getting ready to attack me again. We're going to stay right here so we can catch everybody coming in and out. Mm 
Alright, so let's go over here and we will still wait. See if Nassau has grown any. And it's got a stockade now, so they're trying to build up a little bit. And New Pork, they had ore, so we will move north. Alright, what is this gentleman? He's an expert ore miner, he cannot do ore here, so we will probably send him somewhere else. We're going to send them here to the mission. We're going to announce the heresy of the Dutch mission. And as you can tell here, here's the difference I was talking about from the, one of the first videos. Your expedition has reached the village of Iroquois. The inhabitants are busy in the surrounding fields. Small parties of warriors practice archery and frown at you suspiciously. So we're going to denounce the heresy of the Dutch mission. Loyal Iroquois worshippers burn the English at the stake. Oh my. That didn't work out well at all, gamers. I sent that poor distiller to his death. Oh well, there'll be more. He should have done a better job at denouncing them. But here I thought I saved them from the Dutch. But evidently they love them. And I will not make the same mistake this time. When that Dutch ship comes in. Iroquois makes a surprise raid near Fort Red. And I bet my soldier gets killed here since he's not... Oh, excellent. I need to send a cannon up there to Fort Red because they're getting very angry at me. Alright, we need to make some tools at the fort. And we are going to cut off there, gamers. So join me next time as we build on the fort. And hopefully we get things rolling. So join me next time for the next episode of Let's Play Colonization. This is SKS, signing off.